Dirty pop. Yo. What is up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Pop, Lock, and Drop It. I am your host, JD. Uh, today, we're going to be going over some more Funko Pops that I've gotten over the you know, course of the last couple months that I haven't revealed to you guys in a video. For those of you that are watching us first time, thank you so very much. And in this segment of the J&J &J Toy Giants YouTube channel, uh, this is a segment where we go over all kinds of Funko Pops and Funko collectibles all alike. Um, I am a mock collector. I keep them all in the box unless I bought them loose. Then obviously they're, I, I keep them loose. And my son, Jaden, who also is uh, a Funko Pop collector, he likes to take them out of the box to display them. And then I keep the box, you know, somewhere where they don't get damaged. Uh, but yeah, so let's get to it, to the very first video or the very first Funko Pop that I'm going to be sharing with you today. And that is going to be the New World Order 3-pack. Um, my wife got this for me um, at, I believe it was target and oh no i'm sorry this is a walmart exclusive so she got it at walmart uh the very first three pack i've ever gotten the only only other ones that i have that are large in these types of boxes um were the uh escape me right now it's actually right over there it's my skeletor uh riding panthor and i also have the pop rides with michael knight driving kit from knight rider so those are the only ones that i have that are like in a bigger box again this is my first uh, three packs, so I apologize for the glare there. So you got Hollywood Hulk Hogan, all right? And then you got Scott Hall, and you got Kevin Nash. So this is the Pop WWE on the back. You can see that you get Stone Cold Steve Austin, China, which my, my son does have China. You can get Edge, Otis, and Drew McIntyre. So Otis is actually, this is an older Otis because he doesn't look like that anymore. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's essentially just a Walmart exclusive three pack for WWE. Um, I've, I've been an avid fan of WWE for many, many years since I was about nine or 10. And so I've been following the WWE and I'm right now I've just turned 40 this last past year. So you can, you know, imagine like all the, the, the history and the lore of WWE or wrestling in that case because i did also watch wcw and the ecw so the fact that i get the uh, nwo that was just uh depicting the nwo when they came back to the wwe back in 2001 this is pretty much what they're depicting here but yeah so this is uh the first funko pop that i'm going to be going over with you today and mr t so this is uh the mr t that's depicting his um wrestlemania one attire and he was part of the main event along with hulk hogan you can see him right there he was uh, in a tag team match with hulk hogan against paul orndorff and cowboy bob oh no paul orndorff and uh roddy piper but cowboy bob orton was escorting them to the ring as well as with on the other side with hulk hogan and uh mr t uh, Jimmy the Jimmy Superfly Snooker was escorting them to the ring as well. Uh, so on the back here, you can see the ones you can get here on this particular series of uh, WWE Pops is The Rock, Macho Man Randy Savage, and of course you get the Mr. T. Now I believe there is this particular one for that Macho Man. I believe that is also they have another one that's a diamond part of the diamond collection. I gotta do some more research specifically to see if there are actually two and then the diamond selection may be like an exclusive but with the same attire. But uh, yeah, so I got this one, I believe, at, at Target. And just so what you can see what he looks like on the side over here. Mr. T was an actor. He was discovered uh, from the movie uh, DC Taxi. I believe that was the movie was, but then he became famous from doing TV series in the 80s, A Team, which was one of my favorite shows growing up. But also, uh, Mr. T uh, had um, a cartoon series. He was also the villain in Rocky III. So he became very, very famous at an exponential rate in the 80s. Like it pretty much just took off. But I love this particular Funko Pop. I'm gonna actually try to get The Rock and Macho Man and to see whether or not Macho Man has that diamond collection and if it's depicting this attire. 
But uh, yeah, so those are the two Funko Pops that I wanted to go over with you guys today. Uh, a little short ski video. I appreciate you guys for, again, for the very first uh, time. If you're watching us, thank you so very much. Watch the playlist of all of our other uh, Pop Lock and Drop It's. And of course, if you're in the, the figure collection, you can see a bunch of these WWE figures in the back. We do a lot of WWE. We also do Marvel Legends, uh, DC McFarlane, Ghostbusters, uh, you name it, we have it. Transformers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We collect, or I should say I collect, everything uh, that are very nostalgic to me in my uh, youth. But Jason also does a lot of plushies and also Pokemon cards. That's another thing that I also want to let you know. If you are into trading cards, we also have a segment that we call Pick a Card, where we do some card breaks, some box breaks. Again, you can actually uh, see the playlist. It'll probably come up right here at some point. Thank you so very much for those who are actually just watching this video today. And at the time of this recording, it is uh, the beginning of the holiday season right before Thanksgiving. So thank you so very much. Comment any of our videos you mentions on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and follow us on TikTok and Twitch. Be safe, everybody. Take care. See you later.